Now, when you think about home theater projectors, you probably don't think about something that's completely wireless, battery operated, and can fit in the palm of your hand. That's why the Mogo Pro Plus from XGIMI won the 2021 Innovation Award Honoree from CES. Uh, they've won that award like five years in a row. And today we're gonna talk about why the Mogo Pro Plus is setting the standard for portable projectors. All right, welcome back to Unbox Warehouse, I'm Mike. Now, I've never been the biggest fan of projectors, especially portable projectors. They always seem kind of weak, they're hard to set up. Um, big projectors just take a lot of room, you have big boxes hanging from your ceiling. Uh, they, they just never look as good as a real flat panel TV. And um, that's why I'm super excited about the Mogo Pro Plus. Now, this admittedly will not replace a TV. It definitely has its own limitations, the same kind of limitations you have with any projector, but they've done a lot of amazing things to make this a very useful device. Now the Mogo Pro Plus will not replace your TV, but that's not what it's designed for. The Mogo Pro Plus is a portable entertainment solution where you can bring TV, stream videos, anywhere you want. So even as someone who's not the biggest fan of portable projectors, this one was really easy to set up, really easy to use, and actually quite an enjoyable experience. So before we get into how versatile the Mogo Pro Plus is, let's go over what makes it tick. The Mogo Pro Plus is a DLP projector capable of outputting 300 lumens at standard 1080p resolution. It projects a 76 inch image at a distance of two meters, but can project up to 100 inches with no problem. The auto keystone can correct the image up to 40 degrees off axis, both vertically and horizontally. It can be set up to project forwards, backwards, or hanging from the ceiling. It runs Android TV, which creates a super smooth, responsive UI experience. And inside it sports two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage, which is plenty to have all of your favorite apps with you all the time. On the back, it has a HDMI output, USB 2.0, and a headphone jack. And for true portability, it has dual band five gigahertz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0 built in. Now, depending on the brightness, it can run on its internal battery for up to two hours. And you can control the whole thing with the included Bluetooth remote that has built-in voice control Google Assistant. So when you first turn on Mogo Pro Plus, it's gonna go ahead and automatically set the focus and adjust your keystone. So no matter what angle you have it at, you're gonna have an undistorted image. Now I'm projecting it just back here on this brick wall, but the image is way brighter uh, if you project it on actual screen. In a minute, we'll take it out back and we'll blow it up to 120 inches on an actual screen and see how good this looks. But you'll notice that it's really brighter than you think it is. And it's not something you're gonna wanna use in a lit room, it's still gonna be pretty dim, but in a dark environment, you get a nice usable picture out of this. Now, one of the really cool things is when you move this, it has some sensors in it, which will automatically, if I move it over here, it will automatically readjust the keystone, set the focus and undistort your image. So no matter what, you get a clear image. Um, if you wanna move up and down, this does have a little foot on the bottom so you can raise the image up or down wherever you want it. Um, built in. Now, that's not the preferred way to use it. I prefer to put this thing on a little tripod. Now, I have one right here. There's a normal quarter inch 20 thread on the bottom. You can buy one of these tripods off of Amazon for like five bucks, any little mini tripod. But once you do this, then you have full versatility, uh, like a little ball head to point this right where you want it and lock it down. It will readjust and fix your image, boom. Now, it comes with this gorgeous remote that actually works very well. It has voice controls, Google Assistant, everything is built in. You'll notice you have all of these apps built in, YouTube, all your streaming services. But what I wanna use this for is to take it out in the backyard and set it up on a 120 inch big screen and let's see how that works. Now, real quick before we go outside, let's talk about the speaker built in here. It's not that good, it does, say Harman Kardon on the side, which sounds fancy, that's a good name brand, but 
surprisingly, it doesn't sound that good. I think most of the electronics in here are for the projector itself and they kind of lack on the audio. So you might want to get yourself some Bluetooth speakers because this can connect to Bluetooth speakers wirelessly with almost no lag and you can still be completely wireless and have a great movie experience with great audio. Or you also have a 3.5 millimeter jack, you can come out and plug in some computer speakers or something. So you're definitely going to want some audio. Don't use the speaker built into this unless you want something quick, easy, and you don't care about the audio that much then you can use it. But other than that, it's not that good. All right, let's get outside. Now I set this bad boy up with my Elite Screens 120 inch outdoor projector screen. Uh, even though the projector is only rated up to 100 inches, I still had no problem getting it to project out to 120 inches and it still looked great. Um, also, these Elite screens are so good. I'll put a link to those below. Um, don't get one of those blow up screens. Those things are so gimmicky. I bought one one time and I returned it right away. It was complete garbage. It, the screen had wrinkles in it. It was, if it, any wind, it would wobble. And then you have a blower fan blowing the whole time. Super annoying. You don't get that. Get the Elite screens. You won't, you won't be disappointed, trust me. Now when you project onto a screen, you can use the remote to adjust the corners and voila, perfect fit. It, I'm no projector expert and this was really easy to figure out. Even if I move the screen or projector, I could have everything readjusted again in about a minute. So like I said, the Mogo Pro Plus is only rated up to like 100 inches, but I just projected it on my Elite screen, which is 120 inches diagonal. It's huge and it looked great. I sat out there and watched YouTube for about two hours. Um, the audio, I was using Bluetooth connected to my Tribit speakers, so I had stereo, everything was wireless. It was a really great experience. I sat out there by the fire and watched some movies. And that's the exact kind of application that the Mogo Pro Plus is designed for. Now one thing that I think is an afterthought for most products like this is the remote. But this remote, it, even though it feels a little bit light, works very well. The buttons, the rocker, everything's super intuitive. It works quickly. It's got voice activated controls to control the Android TV software that comes on here. That's another thing, the Android TV software, wow. You turn this on and you can start watching movies right out of the box. Connect this to your Google account, and boom, you got streaming services, apps, you can download all your favorite apps and store them on here. And you don't have to put thumb drives in here or download movies. It's streaming right out of the box. You can start enjoying content. Hook it up to your hotspot and start streaming your favorite movies. Really, really good. Um, I don't really have that much bad to say about it. So let's move on to my final thoughts. So the Mogo Pro Plus definitely deserves all the awards it has received. It was extremely easy to use and set up. The user interface is snappy and feels like a product should in 2021. You can connect the MoGo to your internet and start streaming movies within minutes. Other than the speakers that I'm surprised Harman Kardon was willing to claim, everything about the MoGo Pro Plus feels top notch. It really amazes me that I can have such a big movie theater experience with absolutely nothing plugged into the wall. Okay, that's the Mogo Pro Plus. I hope you liked it. Like I said, it's a great portable projector. It's not the most powerful thing, but it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be portable. So for what this thing's designed to do, it really excels. That's why they keep winning awards. XGimme is a great projector company. They really know their space. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can check out one of these right here. If you'd like to get your own Mogo Pro Plus, there's a link below in the description or a screen, whatever. Subscribe, hit the bell. You know the routine. Let's get out of here and we'll see you on the next one.